What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future, back today with another unboxing video. Hey, before we get started, don't forget about the giant giveaway we have going on on the channel right now. If you want a chance of winning $400 worth of awesome Rumpel gear, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want extra chances to win, be sure to like this video or comment on this video or any of my videos. As soon as we reach 15,000 subscribers, we'll announce the winner, so don't miss out. All right, so it's time for what is probably one of my favorite unboxings, and that is, oh my gosh, if I can get it over here. <laughs> this is Crate Club which doesn't look like Crate Club this month, and it is a giant box, so big that it almost breaks the format of this video. I'll scoot it up so you can even tell that it's a box here. Uh, so this is the April 2022 Crate Club subscription. If you're unfamiliar with Crate Club, it's a really awesome subscription full of tactical gear, survival gear, and everything, but it's like they pack the boxes full of like the really killer stuff that you'll find in other subscription boxes. So they only ship every quarter, but the stuff you get is a little bit more high-end, a little bit more awesome. There's three different levels. This is the general box. There's also a lieutenant level at 50 bucks. There's a captain level at $100. This one is $3.99 every quarter. If you're gonna get the subscription, if you wanna get one of these, Make sure you use my link down in the description or the thing you see on the screen here because I have a 15% off code that you can use and that'll save you a ton of money for awesome gear. These are always packed to the gills. So let's open this thing up. Um, I'm gonna have to reconfigure how I even get this thing on camera because it's so big, but we'll try to get you a shot of the inside of the box before we unload some of the gear here. So there we go. That is the inside of the box. All right, we're already seeing awesome stuff. We got knives, we got all sorts of stuff. Let's scoot this over to the side. We'll go ahead and take our guide out of the box and work our way through everything here and try to get it all on camera for you to see. So already saw some spoilers. Looks like some really cool stuff. So this is the guide that you get every quarter. Again, this is the general box. This one's going to have more stuff than the other levels, but uh, you can see all the different things and what they call their supply drop here. Um, just flip through the guide so you can see it. Getting some spoilers ahead of the game, but let's go back and check it out. We'll start with the OST carbon scraper. Let's see if I can find it in the box over here. All right, so digging through this, I actually thought from the picture for some reason, I thought it was going to be quite a bit bigger, but it's this cool tool right here. And here's the back of the package and everything. So it looks like it's made for uh, keeping your firearms up to service and clean. Let's check out the description here. All right, so this carbon scraper scrapes carbon buildup from the back of a bolt, inside of a bolt carrier, between the locking lugs and around the firing pin. Has a pick to aid and disassembly for cleaning under the extractor. So if you're a firearms kind of a person, this is the kind of tool that you want in your workbench. You can kind of see through the back of the package here. It's obviously highly specialized, has a lot of different uses. You can get a rundown on the back there, but that's the kind of item you can expect to see in one of these boxes because it's more tactical survival prepping type stuff. So. Um, yeah, if you have an AR, if you have other types of guns and everything, this is a great item to have. So there we go. We'll put this up top. First item in this crate club this quarter. So I see some coffee here. Let's check this out. It's funny. I've seen these in all kinds of subscription boxes, but this is my first time actually getting some of this coffee myself. The Black Rifle Coffee Company, uh, JB Just Black, uh, America's Coffee. I like that little patriotism there and everything. Looks like a good medium roast. This company is really cool. I've seen them sponsor all sorts of different things. Uh, you'll see them on all these EDC videos and other prepping videos I've seen going around. Uh, you can get all their social stuff there. I like that they're veteran owned and everything. Really cool brand as well. I'm gonna give this a sniff test. You can't experience that in the unboxing, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah, it smells super good, so. That would be getting brewed up this weekend here at the homestead. You know, just a little value add fun thing to have in the box, but something I really enjoy. Uh, coffee is always a good thing, so hard to complain about that. Uh, next up, it looks like we have the HME ratchet strap. I wonder if that's just a typical ratchet strap. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have camo webbing ratchet strap here from HME. I guess that com company is hunting made easy. It's a two pack. Uh, looks like we just have some simple, uh, really nice ratchet straps. One inch wide, eight feet long, polyester, vinyl coated S hooks, these things. So I've got an F-150 and I've got a few straps in the back that definitely don't look um, as nice or as clean as these do right now. But uh, these hooks, man, they just get beat up and chewed up as you like hook onto different sides of your bed and everything. These look really nice, got a nice camo pattern and everything, nice beefy handles and looks like a good uh, locking mechanism there. It doesn't look like ratchet straps that like reinvent the wheel or anything radical like that, but they look like really solid, um, really strong ones. Looks like we have a working load of 500 pounds and a braking strength of 1500 pounds. So yeah. Put those in your truck and you're good to go. Always awesome to get stuff in these boxes that you can actually use and even like throw in the truck right away. So that's a great item. All right, let's take a look at the next thing, which is this bone dry shotgun and rifle case. And I'm guessing that's why they had to use this giant box because this thing, it almost serves as packing material for the rest of the stuff in here. So I'm gonna try to get this on camera. We'll see how it goes. Um, 
let's check this thing out. So here we go. This is how it comes. It's kind of folded over inside of a plastic bag. I'm going to take it out and we'll take a look at it. All right, so this thing is no joke, guys. Like it is a thick, um, solid, heavily padded uh, shotgun and rifle bag here. So from Bone Dry, I'm not familiar with the brand, but it's all about keeping your stuff uh, nice and dry and free of moisture and that sort of thing, I think. So let's take a look here and see what we have. Okay, so I noticed something when I picked it up is that the padding felt almost like um, kind of granular, like almost like you could feel rice in it or something. But it says, unlike other gun case brands, bone dry cases are engineered with absorbents, moisture removal material to store and protect your firearms from rust after exposure to moisture. So if you have um, any sort of, you know, rifle, shotgun, that sort of thing, you're keeping in long term storage or lives in your closet or somewhere like that, kind of like mine do. Uh, this has an extra layer of what I guess is something like a silica bead. You know, you get in those little packets sometimes where the little moisture absorbers. Um, it feels like this whole bag is full of that type stuff. Um, you can see the little logo there, Absorbits. I guess that's the brand for it. So not only does it feel like a really tough bag, but it's actually a bag with a little extra feature. Let's unzip it and take a look inside. You know, what's funny about this is I actually had a case in my Amazon cart because <laughs> I've been looking for a, a new bag for my AR. So this feels great. Nice and padded on the inside. Just a simple strap. Really not much uh, to write home about looks wise, but you have a nice pocket here on the outside. You got a little hook and loop place where you can put a morale badge. I'll try to pan it across the camera here so you can see this thing is long um, and really cool. So yeah, from Bone Dry, that is their shotgun and rifle case. Uh, a really sturdy bag, feels high quality. I'm guessing this is fairly expensive too, just because uh, the build quality and everything feels super nice. So uh, great item there. That's again, this is like the big item you'd get in a normal monthly subscription. So getting this is just part of the quarterly box is a lot of fun. Okay, so let's move on to our next thing here. Let's flip the page. All right, so we have some Bushnell binoculars. Let's check these out. I noticed these when I first opened this thing. Um, man, that's one of those items I'm actually really pumped about. So right here, the Bushnell H2O waterproof binoculars, eight times magnification, 42 millimeter lens. It says it's designed to withstand the elements of the outdoors, which is awesome. Uh, just looking at the packaging here, we have waterproof IPX7 construction, multi-coated optics. Let's open these up and take a look at these. Pop this little seal on top here. All right, so let's slide these out. Right, this is like, High end, not cheap binoculars. Wow. Okay, so it comes with a little carrying case there. I'm going to set that off to the side. Got all of our instructions and materials of a quick start guide. I'm not going to look at that because I'm a goober. All right, plastic clamshell kind of thing here. So these are these are pretty sturdy. Just lost a lens cap just pulling this thing out. But uh, man, those look pretty awesome. You know what? Let's look through the booklet here before we do anything else with these because there may be some standout features I'm going to miss. So Poro Prism Binoculars, O-ring sealed, nitrogen purged, lightweight aluminum, multi-coated optics with BAK4 Prism glass are included. So yeah, just a really awesome pair of sturdy binoculars. Now, I have binoculars already, but I swear they're like Walmart binoculars I got for Christmas or something that are maybe $15, you know, 20 years ago. So unless you're like an enthusiast, the binoculars you may have or may have access to probably aren't that great, but these look really sturdy. Uh, you can just tell the optics on them look really nice just from the way the glass looks. Um, you can tell that they're coated with some stuff and everything to reduce glare. So I just took a peek through them and obviously you can't see this as part of the unboxing, but man, these have a really wide field of view. So that 42 millimeter lens is really huge. The 8x magnification is not the most you'll see in a pair of binoculars, but it's really nice. Uh, so yeah, if you're into spending time outside, doing some exploring on vacation or that sort of thing, this is an awesome pair of binoculars, really sturdy. It's immediately gonna go um, in my kit for this sort of thing. So pretty awesome item right there. I'm gonna get these lens guards back on. So yeah, the Bushnell 8x42 H2O waterproof binoculars, really sturdy, aluminum frame, really grippy too. Uh, awesome, awesome item this month. Good job, Crate Club, that's pretty cool. So let's leave these here and move on. I'm excited to get to the knife. I saw a knife over there. Uh, you know what, we'll come back to that because uh, that's probably one of my favorite things in this box. Let's check out this uh, Walker's Rope Hearing Enhancer. What in the world is that? All right, so here's the package. Uh, Walker's Bluetooth headset. It looks like Bluetooth headphones. Let's take a look at the description here and see what we have. Okay, so this is surprisingly awesome. So uh, what you have are essentially 
headphones combined with earplugs. So it reduces noise outside by 30 decibels, but also magnifies noise as well. So you can actually still hear stuff. So the examples it gives in this little guide are being at like a firing range or a racetrack, uh, places where you actually still want to hear things and want to be able to talk to people. Uh, but you know, when cars are going by, when people are firing off rounds and everything, you don't want that just blasting your eardrum. So this is like a way to solve for that. So you can still talk to people, still, still hear people or hear music, but it just dramatically lowers the volume of everything else. You know, when that pop sound is happening or that extremely loud racing sound is happening. Uh, so it says low noise and frequency tune for natural clarity, completely wireless, lasts 15 hours. So, you know, more than a full day, high range speaker, really cool. Let's open these up and take a look. Uh, I want to kind of see what these look like in practice. Let's slide this out. So that comes with a little case here, kind of like a little, you know, ear pods, earbuds case type thing. And it's just a simple pair of earplugs that basically work like headphones as well. This little cable feels uh, nice and sturdy, kind of a soft texture, so it'd feel good around your neck. Uh, but it's nice that it's not plugging into anything. But I love that these are Bluetooth and you can actually connect to stuff with them. It has different size tips. I read that. Um, on our little booklet here. But again, this is one of those items that you kind of discover through a box like this. I've got the big padded ear protection that I'll take to like a firing range or that sort of thing, but this is like the opposite of that. It's not huge. You can actually hear through it. Um, looks to be a really cool item. I'm excited about these. Can't wait to try this out. Uh, just a nice thing to have. You never know when you might need it. That is the Walker's Bluetooth headset, hearing protection. Um, it's a hearing enhancer. Really neat. Put these over here. All right, let's jump into what is always my favorite items in boxes like this, and that is a knife. It looks like we have a cool one. This is the SOG Aegis AT Tonto Blade, forest and moss colored. Let's look at this. Um, so normally, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of SOG products, at least recent SOG products, because sometimes I feel like um, the blades or the steel can be a little cheap or um, they're either like super good or super meh. But this actually looks really interesting. Let's pop open this little thing here. Uh, yeah, look at that cool blade. It's got almost like a um, slide lock mechanism here. Let's open this thing up and take a look because I'm going to want to play with it. All right, just looking here, it is assisted open too with their uh, ATXR lock. It's ambidextrous, cryogenically hardened steel. It looks like it's actually D2 steel, which is a really nice steel. That's one I like to have in a lot of knives. Easy to take care of and pretty strong. Yeah, let's open this up. Okay, so I pop some seals on it. Kind of a cool presentation. All right, so there we go. So right off the bat, it feels good in the hand. It's kind of a, it's not like a rubbery texture. It's not totally like plasticky feeling either. Let's see what that is. Honestly, it doesn't it doesn't really say what it is. <laughs> Just glancing that over real quick. So let's see how this assisted lock here works. All right, so let's close it up. Whoa. <laughs> All right, can you see that? Gosh. That is one heck of a, I don't even know, does that count as assisted? It almost, yee, that almost feels like full auto there. That is one heck of an assist mechanism. Um, feels like it needs a little, little love getting open closed a few different times, but man, ugh, gosh, that is one heck of a mechanism. Uh, it looks like it has, you see the little red dot here in the back there. It looks like it has a little locking mechanism that yeah, so I can't really flick that out right now. So that's nice, especially when that's, that's one of the most enthusiastic uh, assisted opening knives I think I've ever used here. So let's, okay, it's unlocked now. And then, whew, man, that's gonna take some getting used to. But man, that is a awesome sturdy knife. It's got some jimping back here, uh, D2 steel. You can see the little logo up here on the blade. Nothing on the other side. I like the, the black. I don't know if that's like a Cerakote or not. A nice, a nice black finish. It is a large handle for the size of the blade. Because the blade is 3.1 inches. The handle's large. It's very grippy. Feels very comfortable though. Um, again, I don't know about the material. I don't know if that's like a G10 or not. You see a backspacer down here, a lanyard loop down at the bottom. Looks like you can flip the clip over to the other side too. It's got kind of a deep carry clip. But again, so sometimes, like I said, with SOG, it's either like awesome or meh. And this one's actually really awesome. Um, has a little bit of heft and weight to it. I do like the tanto shape of the blade and everything, but 
That is a really cool blade to get, especially uh, if you don't have many assisted openers in your collection. That is a insanely strong assisted opening knife. So very cool blade. That is the SOG Aegis AT Tonto in the forest and moss color. Really cool, really powerful. One heck of a knife from Crate Club this month. Awesome. Okay, so I think that is all of our gear. There's a cool Crate Club logo there. Uh, so going through again, we've got that OST carbon scraper. We got black rifle coffee, a set of ratchet straps, this awesome uh, shotgun or rifle case. We have some binoculars, high end killer binoculars there. And we have this um, earplug hearing enhancers, awesome item you probably don't already have, and then this crazy knife over here from SOG. So awesome box. Again, Crate Club, it's a quarterly subscription. This is the general box. This is the expensive one, but make sure you use my link down in the description so you can get 15% off. Uh, it's a great bargain for all this stuff because I guarantee you just from opening this, I got way more money out of it than you would have put into it. Uh, the lieutenant and captain subscriptions are great too, but make sure you check the subscription out. You'll have a ton of fun with it. Really unique items. Great box for this quarter. All right, so that's it for this unboxing. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, not just for awesome unboxing stuff like this, but also so you have a chance to win that huge box full of Rumpel gear. You don't want to miss out on that. Hope you liked the video. We'll see you next time.